Greetings boys and girls, I am Jack Dion from ZL Entertainment and today we have a, it's a game. Yeah. Um basically, you know Well it's it's, it's let's just get into it. <laughs> it's a game that I found online and I thought it'd be fun just to try it out. It's said it's like a 15 minute game 20 or something so let's just click to start and see what we get I don't know if there's any sound or anything I don't know uh, June 21st urgent memori memor what memorandum for all employees. As all of you know, NNC News former chairman is retiring and ex-minister Mr. Edward Cheney has just been appointed as the new director. Due to the high competitive... competitive... I have never seen that word before. Competitivity of the information business this fact will surely be used by sensationalist media against our channel. We should therefore avoid the use of certain language from now on. Thank you for your dedication and patience for a free country, Edward Cheney. So yeah, this is basically kind of showing what, you know, news place, places do. They, you know, censorship and all that stuff. New band words, retired, director, appointment. Now, I'm going to see if I can do this, but I want to just... I just want to see what I... I'm going to just have fun with it, and I might even use some of the words that are banned. <laughs> Unless it just gives you game over right away, which would be retarded. You're watching NNC News with Tom Vandekar. Okay. No reading, so I have to do the biennial happiness by country statistics run by the International Data Institute have just been revealed the once again. The biennial happiness by oh, country statistics okay. run by the International Data Institute have just been revealed. Once again, Little Cuba leads the charts, beating the runner-up, Denmark, by three to do points. Now. Local businessman Mark Schultz is being investigated for human trafficking after the police found a highly suspicious facility behind one You're of his car like, repair on words, shops. I think, but, Mark's uh, lawyer stated that his client had no knowledge of any double business being run in the shadows since he is retired. One of the biggest streaming websites has been taken down following a controversial lawsuit over copyrighted content. The company declared bankruptcy mm. overnight, while the owners have, as yet, refused to make any statement on the subject. <coughs> film filmer? Romero Fowler, the internationally acclaimed film filmer, will be the new head of the National Cinema Academy. According to an interview, the veteran filmmaker feels absolutely delighted with his pajamas. <laughs> okay, this is kind of funny. Retired director and appointment. Burzma United continues their astonishing losing streak, and after seven games lost in a row, the title contenders are placed in the danger zone. The fans, understandably irritated, seem to be already looking for a scapegoat. July 1st. Several violent alt altercations have been registered during this weekend's riots, with several media implying that they were that there was excessive force in the authorities' conduct. While our channel will certain 
I'll inform about these matters impartially. We should avoid feeding into the already dangerous controversy. Thank you for your dedication. Tally, please, weakened. Why don't they like the word right retired? Okay, whatever. This is a weird game. You're watching NNC News with Tom Vandekar. Okay. Breaking news. Last year's Oscar winner, Amanda Stepniak, has allegedly stabbed her wife to death with a very sharp Himalayan woman. The community is in total shock. And now, it is up to the authorities to determine how could something like this possibly happen. Uh, that was funny. Uh, Middle Korea has become the first country to officially use an electronic voting system for a general election. The soon-to-be ex-president has declared that this is just another step in the right direction, and that he's hoping for his successor to keep up the good work. The yearly summer exodus has begun. Thousands of families have been leaving this location in search of a warmer place hey, to spend I chose their a different word. The police recommend exercising caution for those who choose to venture out on the road. Whatever, I don't really care, but you know. Brutality, please. Weekend your time. Me. One of the top downloaded the instant weekend. messaging applications has been I'll found probably just keep the word weekend because and gathering private who cares? data behind its apparently basic functionality. The software, with more than 200 million downloads, has been taken down from the eShop and is advised to be uninstalled immediately. <sighs> Come on, give me more words. The star of the national football team, Andrew Brooks has been hospitalized after suffering a ferocious challenge by opposing defender Sagesi Nagobo. Viewer discretion is advised. The sensuality of these images may be unsuitable for sensitive audiences. <sighs> okay, that July 9th. As many of you are aware, the country has been having trouble with immigration issues lately. Until the situation changes, disclosure of these or similar matters is undevised, unadvised. Thank you for your dedication and patience. New band word, dinghies. Black, tired, please. Well, I'm going to keep retired on there because I, I don't care. I'm going to keep police on there because I don't care, and color black is one of my favorite words, so we're going to keep that, and, uh, I'll see if we can have something funny with all of them, of course, but, uh... You're watching NNC News with Tom Vandekar. The South African Black Empowerment Group, For Equality, is facing considerable legal trouble since the new head of government took to power several weeks ago. The prestigious organization is pleading discrimination, while the authorities state that such a false accusation is slander and has threatened a countersuit. El Nuevo Cartel, one of the biggest drug trafficking rings in the world, has finally been taken down after several years of intensive investigations. Every known leader has been arrested and will stand trial in the following months. Oh, look at that. Glitches there, people. Game dev. 
26 unimportant people were found yesterday night trying to cross the border in several dinghies. According to an official statement made by the local police chief, all of them seem to be safe and under his custody. Unimportant people. Oh man, this is funny. The Rolling Stones keep rolling. Fifty years later, the legendary band has yet again reached the number one, both sides of the Atlantic, thanks to the remake of one of their most acclaimed singles, Painted, but not now. Chess has finally made it. Nice. The International like Olympic Committee has officially announced today that the sport will be joining the upcoming Olympics this year. This opens the debate about whether other mind sports should be added to that list, including the fast growing esports scene. July 16th. So it looks like you actually have to censor the words or you don't get much funding. But it's like a double-edged sword because if you don't tell the people the truth and they're gonna know and then your ratings will go down anyway so you know the president allegedly had an altercation with his personal trainer with this being leaked to the media by an unknown source the country does not need the press focus on to avoid the yep that sounds like the US for sure yeah you guys can go screw yourselves Surprised that uh, retired isn't on there anymore. You're watching NNC News with Tom Vandekar. Vandekar. A large arms shipment has been confiscated at the frontier, hidden in double bottomed hmm. industrial containers. The whole situation, including the cargo's origin and destination, is being thoroughly investigated due to its unprecedented nature in this country. Several video games have been temporarily banned from the national market due to the new peace and order legislation explicitly prohibiting products with wee wees and hoo has. Since the ruling, the topic has been hotly debated on social media. Apparently, a great majority of users seem to be looking for exactly that in a video game. What the f- This is hilarious. This year's Equality Book has just been presented and, as usual, it is not exempt of controversy. The book has made quite a flush with some of its statistical studies, such as the positive correlation between a country's GDP and the amount of cats per capita. The disease commonly known as camel flu continues its dangerous spread around the Middle East, with Iraq and Jordan being the areas most heavily affected. The new wave of infections may threaten the Damasco Olympics, Although, the World Health Organization has tagged the disease's contagiousness and lethality as low. This is weird. But funny. Meditative? Mm -hmm. The chairman of Burzmer United announced today that after meditating profoundly upon it, he decided to sack his mum. How this decision will affect the club's future remains to be seen. This sounds perfect. <laughs> August 4th. Uh, this time I've personally checked the program news for any direct mention of the subject. I think that for once, explanations are not needed. Just avoid any potential mission of the mention of the issue. Thank you for your dedication and patience. <coughs> You're watching NNC News with Tom Vandekar. Hmm. 
Mm. Morgan Baxter, a plumber from the capital, has been sentenced to 24 months in prison following a single tweet criticizing and allegedly threatening the current government. The response has been immediate, with thousands of people on social media expressing their outrage with the tag, hashtag resist. Old man yells at existence. The elderly man has drawn the attention of media all around the country by interrupting the rain and energetically standing and yelling a wide variety of insults. The nihilist killer has finally been captured, putting an end to one of the most horrendous murder sprees this century, with over 35 victims in a single year. No Place for Women. The heartbreaking documentary by Nadia Suarez won the EFTA award last night in a wonderful ceremony. The critically acclaimed director made the most of her thank you speech and surprised everyone by announcing her next film, Black Christmas Tree. Good news for the national team, this is actually Andrew fun. Brooks has started exercising. According to the doctors, the key player will be ready for the upcoming Damasco Olympics. August 17th. Okay. Watching NNC News with Tom Vandekar. Our country has been listed 257th in genitalia size, according to IFC's annual evaluation. According to several socio political experts, the current trend is inevitably leading to mass masturbation of unparalleled magnitude. Breaking news from the main avenue, where Teletubbies have taken to the streets. The situation is volatile, and downtown oh, access is difficult and highly unadvised. What is going on? This is weird. Shocking news today, following the assassination attempt of Middle Korea's new cha-cha, Yi Young-hwan. The country's current political climate seems to be turbulent, with numerous conflicts emerging all around the capital, while the government struggles to control the masses. <laughs> oh man, there's too many words for me to remember here. 196 aspiring Olympic athletes have been found guilty of doping and will therefore be banned from the upcoming Summer Games. Mm -hmm. Several countries have lost as many as half of their prospective Olympians, a crippling blow to their I think once your fun goes all the way down, um, the game ends, so it's kind of weird. That's just my guess. I've never actually played it before. I don't see. Oh, here's something. NNC is bringing the following news to you live. As an impartial bulletin, the staff feels the responsibility to inform you about the current lack of nappies in our nation. The oppressive environment has been even harsher since the shitstorm rumors reached the highest authorities. Our heartfelt call to every citizen still listening to us is the following one We must stand against extremely short socks. What the fuck? This is retarded. They accept evil not because they say yes, but because they don't say no. Well, they they weren't lying. That is a very short game.
looks like a uh, 80s style art. Well, you know, that's that's a simple little game right there. thought it would be an interesting idea just to, like, uh, test some of these little games out. Um, mostly independent games. And, um, that's what I did. Uh, I don't really... This is the first time I ever played a game with, you know that you know so <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this weird game I think it's pretty funny um, it's a little bit too short for me but uh, I, I thought it was kind of funny and it uh, has a message about how you know the media and stuff and the news pretty much does lie to us so I don't know, I thought it was pretty fun, simple, and actually extremely easy game, but I, I did like it. And uh, I will leave a link to in the description below where you can uh, find the game to play it for yourself, and just check it out. And uh, as always in my description, you can always find the link to my Facebook where I will have updates on there for what my channel is doing I, I actually need to start updating <coughs> yeah but uh, that's that's that so I believe that is everything on this game well, if you guys enjoyed this let me know by giving it a virtual hug simply by clicking on the like button comment in the section below what you guys thought of the game and if you guys like this interesting format and if you want to see me play other uh, indie games, I'm probably gonna do it anyways. But I'll have them. I'll have more if you guys actually do want to see it. Uh, yeah. So love you all. Peace to you, and stay safe.